Hello friends, welcome back, Arti welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to linear programming, 12th grade. In order to supplement daily diet, a person wishes to take some X and Y tablets. The contents of iron, calcium and vitamins in X and Y in milligrams per tablet are given as below. Tablet X type, tablet Y type, iron 6 mg, 2 mg, calcium 3 mg, 3 mg, vitamin 2 mg, 4 mg. The person needs at least 18 mg of iron, 21 mg of calcium and 16 mg of vitamins. The price of each tablet of X and Y is 2 rupees and 1 rupee respectively. How many tablets of each should the person take in order to satisfy the above requirement at minimum cost? So, we have to understand what are our constraints here. We will list down the constraints. Then after that, we will draw the graph. We will try to find out the region, feasibility, re feasible region, whether that is bounded or unbounded. Then based on that, we will move forward from there. Now, what are the constraints we have? Let us see. Now, the person should have at least 18 mg of iron. First, let us say that tablet X, capital X type, we, tablet type it is, we'll say that we will have X number, we'll have Y number. Now, so the constraint on iron content is that it should be greater than or equal to 18 and the constraint on calcium is should be greater than or equal to 21 and vitamins are greater than or equal to 16. Let us say now he takes X tablets of capital X type and Y tablets of capital Y type. Then what will be the constraints we will have? First, he should have both of them greater than or equal to 0. So that's a non-zero constraint. So we can write down X greater than or equal to 0, Y greater than or equal to 0. Suppose uh, he takes X capital X type and Y small y type, what will be the total iron content he will be taking? That is 6X plus 2Y. So that should be greater than or equal to 18. So let's write down that. 6X plus 2Y should be greater than or equal to 18. Similarly, we have 3X plus 3Y, that is with respect to calcium that should be greater than or equal to 21. We also have one more that is 2x plus 4y should be greater than or equal to 16. Now what is our function here to be minimized? Objective function is z is cost to be minimized. Z cost we have to minimize cost and if you take if he takes x tablets of 2 rupees each then it will be 2x and y tablets of 1 rupee then total cost he is spending is 2x plus y we have to minimize 2x plus y now so these are the constraints we have let's write down z equal to 2x plus y now let's try to get the graph here for them so we'll take x and y axis we'll take and x and y axis so we have x positive here we have y positive here and this is origin 0 comma 0 first we have 6x plus 2y greater than or equal to 18 so can i write it as 3x plus y greater than or equal to 9 to understand the solution of this, first we will draw 3x plus y equal to 9 by substituting x equal to 0 or putting x equal to 0. If we put x equal to 0, y will be equal to 9 and if we put y equal to 0, x will be 3. So the line will be 3 comma 0 with points 3 comma 0. Let us say this is 3 comma 0 and the other point we have on the line is 0 comma 9 that is 0 comma 
9. So this is one line what we can draw that is 3x plus y equal to 9. We will join them once we plot all the points. The next one we have is 3x plus 3y greater than or equal to 21. So I can write it as x plus y greater than or equal to 7 x plus y greater than or equal to 7 first we will get x plus y equal to 7 taking x equal to 0 we will have 7 comma 0 and we will have 0 comma 7 so let us plot those two points so we completed x plus y equal to 7 we will join all of them at the end next we have one more that is 2x plus 4y greater than or equal to 16 so can I write it as x plus 2y greater than or equal to 8 first we will try to get x plus 2y equal to 8 put x equal to 0 we will have 2y equal to 8 that means the point will be 0 comma 4 if we substitute y equal to 0 x will be 8 so the point will be 8 comma 0 now let's join all the points first we have to join 3x plus 5 equal to 9 which is coming from 0 comma 9 to 3 comma 0 the next plus y equal to 7 0 comma 7 7 comma 0 x plus 2y equal to 8 that is 0 comma 4 8 comma 0 let me join all of them so we have joined all the lines now let us try to find out the solution x 3x plus y greater than or equal to 9 we will substitute origin 0 comma 0 in that 0 greater than or equal to 9 is false that means the solution is away from the origin so 3x plus y greater than or equal to 9 the solution will be on that side away from the origin so that is the solution we have let's do the next one that is x plus y greater than or equal to 7 again substitute x equal to 0 y equal to 0 0 greater than or equal to 7 is false so that means the plane we have to consider is which is not containing origin so x plus y greater than or equal to 7 the solution will be going away from the origin so this will be the solution next let's go to the next one we have x plus 2y greater than or equal to 8 again substitute x 0 y 0 we have 0 comma 0 greater than or equal to 8 0 is less than or equal to 8 so again we have to consider that plane which is away from the origin so that will be again going away from the origin so it will be this point now we have to combine all these and see the feasible region which satisfies all these particular conditions let's try to find out now the feasible region now we have drawn the feasible region the feasible region is which is having corner points as 0 comma 9 and we have to find out this point this point by finding out the point of intersection of the lines then we have this point so we have 0 comma 9 we have 8 comma 0 we have point of intersection of these two lines and we have point of intersection of these two lines we'll find those points then we have these are corner points and now the region is unbounded so we have to first find out the corner points and based on that we have to find out the minimum value then we have to draw the graph for 2x plus y less than or equal to that minimum value and then see do we have any common points with the unbounded region if you are having common points then there is no minimum value if there is no common points then the minimum value will be the value which we got from the corner points first to move forward let's try to find out these two points what are the values of them so let's try to solve them the first one i will consider x plus y equal to 7 
x plus y equal to 7 and the other one is x plus 2y equal to 8. If you try to solve them, we will have x plus y is 7, so plus y is 8, that means simply y equal to 1 and x equal to 6. So the point is 6 comma 1. So we have a point 6 comma 1. So let's find out where it is. So this point will be 6 comma 1 which will be between x plus y equal to 7 and x plus 2y equal to so this point is 6 comma 1 let me just put it that is 6 comma 1 and we have to find out this point which is between 3x plus y equal to 9 and the other one is 2x plus y equal to 8 so subtract them you will get x equal to 1 and we will get y equal to 6 so the point is 1 comma 6 so the corner points are now 0 comma 9 1 comma 6 6 comma 1 and 8 comma 0 now let's try to get the minimum value of the objective function for this particular values let's put the corner points we have 0 comma 9 1 comma 6 6 comma 1 8 comma 0 let's substitute z equal to 2x plus y 0 comma 9 we will be getting 2 into 0 plus 9 that is 9 1 comma 6 that will be equal to 8 6 comma 1 2 into 6 12 plus 1 13 then 8 comma 0 that will be 16 what we want is minimum value the minimum value is equal to 8 so what we have to do now is we have to draw the graph of 2x z function that is 2x plus y less than or equal to minimum value that is 8 and we have to check do we have anything common points with respect to the whatever the unbounded region we had feasible solution so unbounded region whatever we got and that 2x plus y less than or equal to 8 have nothing in common then the minimum value will be 8 that means he has to take x tablet 1 and y tablet 6, six y tablets and one x type of tablet x type of tablet so do, before understanding that we have to draw the graph of 2x plus y less than or equal to 8 so let's go ahead and draw the graph of 2x plus y less than or equal to 8 let's draw the graph first find out the points 2x plus y equal to 8 x equal to 0 y will be 8 so 0 comma 8 is one point y equal to 0 x equal to 8 2x equal to 8 that means 4 comma 0 is a point so let's plot those two points what we need 4 comma 0 so one point will be 4 comma 0 and the other will be 0 comma 8 which will be coming here now 4 comma 0 0 comma 8 let's uh, try to join them so we will have a line like this this is our line which is 2x plus y less than or equal to 8 now less than or equal to 8 that means the solution will be on the origin side because if you substitute x comma y 0 0 you will get 0 less than or equal to 8 so the solution of 2x plus y less than or equal to 8 is exactly opposite to the unbounded region that means there is nothing common with respect to the unbounded region so the minimum value of objective function is 8 that means he has to take to minimize his cost he should take x equal to 1 x type of tablet 1 and y type of tablet 6 that means x equal to 1 and y equal to 6